Hey Glamazons, it's me and today I want to do a little video about nails. Um, obviously I'm holding the camera with one hand so I'm not going to be able to actually do any demonstrations but trust me this video will be informative. And I hope you check out the video I will either upload before this or after this about racism um, because it's still going on and I feel like It'll get better if we talk about it and stop denying that that it doesn't happen. But anyway, back on to nails. Um, I get a lot of questions about my nails. Are these my real nails? Yes, they are. <laughs> I've never had fake nails a day in my life. So I've never had a professional manicure. I don't know what fake nails are like. My nails just grow really long and then they break. So yeah, whenever you see me, they are my real nails. I get questions about... Are your nails real? Yes. Are your breasts real? Yes. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully you guys will learn a few tricks. So how do I decorate my nails and what do I use? I will use any nail polish under the sun. I don't care if it was $10 or if it was a dollar. If I like the color, I'll buy it. So don't be scared to try nail colors. Second of all, I like to go to eBay and get things like this. These are dotting tools, and what you do with these is you can use these to make dots. You can use them to make flowers, polka dots. It's just easy, simple nail art. What you would do is paint your nails a basic color, and then take these and dip it in a contrasting color, and dot it all over your nail. It makes a great pedicure and a great manicure. If you do not have dotting tools, which they're dirt cheap on eBay, so you might want to get yourself some, you can use a bobby pin and you just bend it and use that or a broken pen if you have a pen that doesn't write anymore you can use that too because I know all of you you know have situations going on also on eBay I buy things like these these are those little uh, nail caviar beads so you can do a bunch of nail art stuff with that here I have some acrylic bows that you can glue onto your nail. I have not used those yet. Another tip and trick would be use nail stickers. Nail stickers will instantly dress up your nails and your feet. And they'll make it look like you got a pedicure or fancy manicure when you actually didn't. So nail stickers are really great. I use them all the time. Um, I also buy nail art stuff off eBay. This is Fimo. It's called Fimo. You usually can get these for like 99 cents free shipping. And what it is, it's kind of like 3D nail art. It's like some sort of clay and it's sliced really thin and they come in different designs. And you use a little bit of a top coat or base coat and you stick them onto your feet or your fingers. Also, I'm sure you girls have seen these in the stores. The little nail art deco things. You It has a really thin brush, and what you do is you draw or paint a design onto your nail. Very simple. You can make dots with these too. You can draw stripes. You can draw lines. Very simple. Uh, another tip for easy nail art. This is a Dollar Elf flat brush. Now, once you use a brush for your nails, you can never ever use it on your face okay so this is strictly for my nails it's a flat brush I dip it I'll paint my nails a color with the regular nail polish brush I'll dip this in acetone and use it to straighten out the line so using a brush like this is the quickest easiest way to get a French tip okay no matter what color you use you can do a French tip and it doesn't have to be just white nail polish, okay? So try hot pink, try purple, and then what you would do is you would paint this part of your nail with whatever color. Then you can even go over it with glitter polish, okay? Then dip this in acetone and you're going to just draw it and run it across the top like that. And it will give you a straight line, make it look very professional. And okay, so my last tip, I don't know, I've never showed you guys these, and I don't know why, I'm sorry. Let me try to find one that's open. I have so many of these. 
these. These are nail art stamping plates. I bought mine off eBay. If you want to know more, Google Conad, K-O-N-A-D. That's the brand name system. And those plates run like eight bucks a plate, but you can get sets off eBay. I was getting sets for like five dollars and less. You can also get them off Amazon because I have a set here by Shani. Okay, so they're just nail plates. I have like over a hundred nail plates. Uh, let me see. Bundle Monster makes great ones too. Let me see. Okay, here's one that I've used before. Can you see the designs on the plate? The design you see is the design that will appear on your nails. And so they're metal plates, okay? And what you do is you take a thick nail polish, like let's say you have a nail polish that sat out a little too long and it was a little open and you didn't know so it was really thick and gloopy. Don't throw it out. Even though you can thin those out with a little bit of acetone, pour in a little acetone, shake them up and they're as good as new. But anyway, if it's thick and gloopy, and you buy nail plates, leave it thick and gloopy, and you polish the this design with that polish, like you totally cover it. And then you use the stamper and scraper. Once you polish the plate, you take the scraping part, which is the blade, and you scrape the design to get the excess polish off. And then you quickly run the stamper across the image and quickly roll it across your finger okay there are plenty of video demonstrations on this like I can't do it because I don't have three hands but basically you're transferring this image or whatever image you choose from whatever plate you buy and you're transferring it onto your nails kinda like a fake tattoo imagine that okay so this is the quickest easiest way to get fabulous designer nails you can get plates with all sorts of designs on them and they're addictive I'm telling you now this is a different plate it's got lips and hearts and I love you's and lollipops on them okay flowers a lot of them have flowers and you can use whatever color polish you want you can stamp them anywhere on your nail you want use them on your feet as well um, this is my secret this is how I get amazing nails and again, it's called nail stamping. You can Google nail image plates. If you want to see video or designs, type in Conad, K-O-N-A-D. I have plates with dollar signs, Hello Kitties, polka dots, cheetah print stripes, um, words, numbers. And I'm telling you, these plates are addictive because once you master how to do it, the key is to work neatly but quickly. And the more practice, the better. I practiced on paper before I actually did it on my nails. It's very easy, you know, foolproof, and it's way cheaper than going to the salons and paying tons of money because my mother and my sister go get their nails done and they pay way too much. So it ends up costing me less than a dollar to do my own nails. <laughs> yeah, I'm smart and pretty. <laughs> anyway, then you can fancy it up with with glitter polish or with rhinestones. I also have a ton of rhinestones as well off of eBay and I'm telling you you can get the nail art for like 99 cents in free shipping without bidding okay. Um, so I can't wait for pedicure season to come because I'm gonna be blamed out. I, I take time on my feet like these are my designer nail decals like I have Gucci and Prada and Chanel and there's crowns and hearts in this one. I got this one off eBay um, so yeah, with these tips, you can get easy, fabulous nails, and you don't have to be super skilled at it, okay? I mean, I like to draw, but I'm not necessarily the best artist, <laughs> but I do okay. You know, I did good in art class. <laughs> um, so yeah, get yourself some dotting tools. If not, use a bobby pin or an old pen that doesn't write anymore. Um, go on eBay and try some of the nail art. You can check out my blog, LunadayApril at Zanga.com, X-A-N-G-A. I have blog posts up about it. You can search for it. Um, use a straight brush to get rid of the excess polish. And try out the nail stamping plates. And I'm sorry because I know you girls are going to get addicted to those plates. Like once you get one or like a lot of six or whatever, you're going to keep coming back for more. That's what happened to me, and that's why I have, like, over 100 plates. <laughs> yeah.
But you know what? They pay for themselves. They really do. Um, they pay for themselves and it saves you money in the long run because you're not sitting there while some woman hand paints a design onto your nails. And if you don't want to be bothered with all of that, just use a nail sticker. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you girls enjoyed this video about nails. If you have any questions, drop a comment or check out my blog or check out other people's nail tutorial videos. Like I said, if I had help filming, I would do them myself because it's so easy. Like nails are so easy to do. Like there is no excuse to have bad nails. Um, but we'll see what happens in the future. If I get a husband, <laughs> I'll make him film me. But uh, okay, guys, I got to get going. Take care. And any inquiries, just message me.